Moving on now to some updates from Russia, where a court has ordered the opposition leader Alexei Navalny to be kept in custody until February 15th. According to Navalny's aides, the decision was made at a hastily organized hearing after his arrest. Meanwhile, after the court's order, Navalny put out a video message where he has urged his supporters to hit the streets and not remain silent. Our country has become poorer. It is degrading and our education is getting worse. Even our health care is getting miserable. And only we can stop this. Therefore, I urge you, do not be silent. Resist and take to the streets. If we want to achieve something, we will achieve it. Navalny was detained after landing in Moscow. The hearing to extend his detention was held at a police station instead of a court. He was denied any access to legal representation as well. Meanwhile, the chorus abroad for Navalny's immediate release continues to grow. German Chancellor Angela Merkel decried the arbitrary arrest of Navalny and has demanded his release. Merkel's spokesperson said that Merkel had condemned the arrest, which violates the very principles of the rule of law. The European Union chief, Ursula von der Leyen, meanwhile, has joined the international condemnation over Navalny's detention. UK's vaccines minister, Nadim Zahavi, has said that the British government is very worried about the well-being and safety of the Kremlin critic. We are very worried uh, about the well-being and safety of Alexei Navalny. And of course, uh, we, we have to make sure that the Russian government answers why uh, a, 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 a poison was used against Alexei Navalny uh, in uh, Russia. The foreign secretary has been uh, leading, I think, uh, the world in terms of uh, one, being robust on the Magnitsky Act, but also on holding countries that violate so flagrantly human rights. But you'll be hearing more uh, from the foreign secretary on this. The United States has also called out the decision to arrest Navalny. On the other hand, Lithuania has said that it will ask the European Union to swiftly impose new sanctions on Russia. The Lithuanian foreign minister has said that the neighboring EU countries, Latvia and Estonia, will also work towards the imposition of restrictive measures on Russia. Meanwhile, the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, has dismissed the global outcry. Lavrov's, Lavrov has called it a bid by Western countries to deflect attention from the crises taking place within their own territories. We can see how the Western countries jumped at yesterday's news about Navalny's return to Russia. And we can see how gladly the comments which replicate one another are being done. They are doing so happily as it looks like the Western politicians view this as an opportunity to draw attention away from the deepest crisis the liberal development model has found itself in. Navalny is also facing potential new criminal charges, this under a probe launched last year by Russian investigators who say that he misappropriated over $4 million worth of donations. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.